Okay, this is a quick and easy guide on how to change your uh, Gateway Laptop P5 WS0 screen. Uh, first thing you want to do, this little orange tab, you slide that and that pops the battery out. Take the battery out, flip back up. All right, around the edge of the screen, it's just a snap-in bezel. So all you want to do is get a screwdriver behind that, a flathead, and just easily slide your finger, pop it off. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right. There we go. Okay, for the screen, there are, let's see, eight screws total you want to take out. The first two are up here. And they are a different size than the other ones. Let's see here, come on. Let's set those all aside. This one, okay. The other ones, you have three little black ones down this side and you'll have three on the other side. Right. And one more way down here at the bottom. Down there. Right, easy enough. And do the same thing for the other side. I've actually already changed my screen to make sure it would work and it didn't get damaged in shipping and it works just fine. Alright, so fold down. Now this little cord is usually taped to it, uh, to the back of the screen, but mine's been replaced so many times that it's not anymore. Um, you do want to see this part right here, this little black thing that's just going to slide out. I did have to tape mine. But yours should not be taped like mine was. Uh, so really all you do is just pull backwards on it. It slides in to the front. And you just take it and pull back on it and it comes out nice and easy. Just like that. And that's it. So take your screen mount, you put your new one in, and you reverse the steps. Easy as that. Slide this back into place. You can tape it down if you want to. Mine was really loose, that's why I put the packaging tape on there. Um, just You do want to make sure that it is seated in there like it's supposed to. Otherwise, you'll have to take out everything again. So, that's back in place. Tape down. Lift the screen back up. You put in those little uh, bars that were there, the little brackets. And screw those back in. You may want to start with the top first. It does make it a little bit easier. Those bottom ones can be pretty tough to get in. If you try to put them in first. Same thing on the other side. Again, you might want to start with the top just to make it a little easier. All right, once you have those three put in, we'll put the back, or the, uh, those holding ones back on. Also this cord at the bottom, you do want to make sure that it's up in its little 
space or else the bevel might not uh, might not sit on it properly. So just make sure that all those little, all those little uh, clips are holding it right. Excuse the plane outside. So put these two silver ones back in in the corners. And if I didn't mention it earlier, all you need is a small Phillips and a small flathead screwdriver. So I get this done. Fold the screen back down just a little bit. Make sure those little uh, bottom clips are in place. And just start popping it in wherever, uh, wherever you want to start at and work your way around. And the bottom can be kind of tough just because there's nothing to really, it's kind of hard to push against it, but it's not too bad. I think that's all in place, or good enough for this video anyways. Pop your battery back in, flip it over, and there you go.